Hello everyone and welcome back to today's Morning Report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech Markets for Friday the 6th of June, non-farm payrolls Friday. Um, I'm going to look now at Euro Dollar and what a day yesterday we saw on the Euro. Um, you could argue <laughs> why Mario Draghi even bothered um, because the market has uh, just started to now um, certainly the reaction um, from the from the initial move lower um, hit pretty much 135 big figure bang on and then rallied strongly um, all the way through to um, pretty much uh, 3670 uh, which is the key overhead resistance uh, of that big neckline of the top pattern so technically speaking that uh, um, we're still under that big resistance and uh, that is um, uh, quite a, a big move but the m that we had yesterday a massive bullish key one day reversal which actually where you cl you have a, an initial sell off below all the, below the low of the previous day and then a close above the high but that um also took it above trading the trading band over the past 6 days so a an absolutely enormous bullish key one day reversal and you would argue the the next question to answer is whether you would trust that move and start to bullet um start to uh, back it as a bull well i don't I don't think so personally. Um, I think it's just a knee-jerk reaction. This this buying pressure that we've seen in the in the euro, and I'm not 100% sure that uh, we're going to get that move. And I think maybe you'll find a bit more um, find a bit more out of this move today after non-farm payrolls because these are two massive volatile data days um, from yesterday and uh, obviously today. And uh, after maybe today's non-farm payrolls, if you're back above that 36.70 mark, then perhaps that would imply that uh, there is a little bit of um, momentum building back for the upside on the euro. But certainly at the moment, um, the uh, there's it's just drifted about 10 to 15 pips lower on the day. Um, and uh, there's seems to be a ceiling in place at that 136.70 key resistance of that neckline of the top pattern um, that we need to be aware of. Um, in, if you, however, if you're looking at momentum indicators, then you've got a bullish crossover on the MACD lines. You've also got a buy signal confirmed now on the stochastics. And the RSI is now at a um, almost at a one month high. So the technical signals are improving. Um, and also you've got this bullish key one day reversal. So I think um, from a personal standpoint, I would be looking to see how the market reacts to non-farm payrolls today. If uh, if the euro gets bought on the back of the payrolls number and breaks above that 36.70 mark, then perhaps there is something in this move to the upside. But until we see that, I I do not necessarily trust this move. Um, the the fundamentals certainly suggest that um, the euro should be weakening from here. I mean that the argument being, <coughs> I'm gonna just. Uh, tangent uh, off to the fundamentals very quickly. The argument being that perhaps the um, t uh, the targeted LTRO of 400 billion euros may not have gone far enough, and that may be why the market uh, potentially um, started to buy uh, the euro once again. But um, I think ultimately the the fact is that Draghi has said on record that he's going to be um, that they they haven't finished and there is more for them to do they're also going to be looking at uh, asset purchases as well so I just think that um, perhaps this has just been a knee-jerk reaction and I think ultimately the euro should be pulling lower um, on the back of what the ECB did yesterday so um, it'll be interesting to see how uh, today um, how today uh, the, the market reacts to the payrolls number um, so uh, maybe it's best to just sit aside and uh, wait for that number but certainly at the moment um, the euro is coming off a bit lower to the downside uh, if I show you the intraday data here we go uh, it's just started to fall away in the last few minutes last hour or so and uh, it's um, left a high at, as I said 60 30 sorry 36 69 
So um, I think uh, personally I would just hold off for a bit and see how the payrolls uh, work out but um, certainly the technicals are suggesting that there is the prospect of an improvement here but uh, I would just like to see this bullish key one day reversal confirmed and that com confirmation would come with a, a move above that 36.69 high from yesterday. Okay well I wish you good luck with your trading. Uh, payrolls at 1.30 today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.